In this problem, we're going to look at how to compare two fractions by three different ways. The first way is to convert both of them to decimals. And so, for example, 3 fifths, we can convert to 0 0.6. And to do that, you will have to do long division, 3 divided by 5. And at a decimal point, 5 goes into 3 zero times. And at another 0, 5 goes into 36 times. So that's how we got 0 0.6. Similarly, we can uh, do long division, 5 divided by 8. Um, five goes, 8 goes into 5 zero times, so we add a decimal point, and then 8 goes into 56 times, and 6 times 8 is 48, and subtract the remainder is 2, and we can add another 0, and 8 goes into 20, 2 times, and the remainder is 4, add one more 0, bring it down, 8 goes into 45 times. So that's how we convert that to 0.625. And so uh, by comparing these two decimals, we can see 0.625 is bigger. That's why the fra corresponding fraction 5 eighth is bigger. And the next two methods we're going to use are common denominator and a common numerator method. And these two methods are required. So you will be tested on these two methods. And so the reason we cannot compare these two fractions directly is because they have different denominators. Um, and we can, for fractions, by the definition of fraction, we know the numerator means the number of parts, how many slices we have out of a cake. But the denominator tells us the size of the cake the size of each each uh, part. So um, which one is bigger depends on both of them. So we cannot just look at one of the numbers. And also the, uh, the, the more parts we have, the bigger the fraction is. But the uh, bigger the size is, um, the, uh, the bigger the fraction is. But if we have a smaller denominator, that may, may, means uh, the size actually of each side, each piece is going to be bigger. Okay, so let's take a look at these two methods. So when we uh, explain why these two methods work, and make sure you refer to the definition of the fractions. Uh, the size is each of each one is one over d. It's not d. Okay, so first of all, we convert um, both of them to the same denominator. Uh, 40. Notice that the two denominators, uh, 5 and 8, so 5 and 8, they're different, and we want to convert them to um, their equivalent fractions with the same denominator. So notice that 8 times 5, uh, 5 times 8, we can get the common denominator 40. So let's, uh, let's do that for each fraction. And notice that doing this is just dividing um, the each part into um, smaller parts, uh, but we still end up with the equivalent fractions. Okay, so after we convert both of them into the same denominators, uh, 40 and 40, now we can compare the numerators. So the denominator 40 guarantees they have the same size. So here, I'm going to write down the explanation a little bit. Why is 25 40 bigger than 24 40? It's because uh, the first fraction, uh, let me put it uh, here. So that means by the definition of fractions, it has 25 parts each of size. What is this? Each of size. One forty. And 2440 means we have 24 parts, each of size 140. So that means we got the same size uh, slices, but whoever gets um, the more number of parts um, is bigger. So that's why 2540 is bigger than 2440. 
employees. Now, previously we couldn't compare them because although we have less number of parts compared to five, but the, since the denominator is smaller, which means we only have five people sharing um, the same amount of pizza and that but each slice actually is going to be bigger so less number of parts but bigger slices we cannot really come we don't really know for sure which one is bigger but now since we have the same denominator um, 40 and 40 and we can say for sure uh, the one and um, we guarantee the sizes are the same whoever has more number of parts will be bigger all right so that's the first method uh, so here, make sure you know that uh, not only you do the method, use the common denominator method, but also explain why the um, method works, because the common denominator implies that the two fractions has have like parts or the same size parts, and the bigger numerator implies that the fraction has more parts. Okay, so let's look at common numerator method. So in the common numerator method, we are going to focus the numerators instead of the denominators. When we look at the numerators 3 and 5, and they, we can multiply both of them um, by some numbers, for example, 3 times 5, 5 times 3, to reach 15. So that's what we did here, 3 times 5 and 5 times 3. And of course, we always have to make sure we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So now we turned uh, the, these two different numerators to the same numerator, 15 and uh, uh, 15 now. And so since they have the same numerator, that means we have, so let me explain right here. Uh, this means we have 15 parts. And this one, since the numerator is also 15, also has 15 parts, both have the same number of parts. But since the denominator is 24, which is smaller than 25, that means so the each of size 1 over 24, but this one has each part has a size of 1 25th. And the more people sharing one pie, the size of each piece is smaller. So the this one has a smaller size and which one this one has a bigger size so of course same number of pieces but each slice is bigger than the other one so that makes this uh, fraction bigger so when we compare the numerators if they have the same denominators the numerator is bigger that may, implies the fraction is bigger but when we use the common numerator method the bigger numerator actually makes the bigger denominator actually implies the a smaller fraction okay so um the how, the second method also uh, explain quickly the common numerator implies that the two fractions have the same number of parts the smaller denominator implies the fraction has a bigger uh, size parts so every time when you use the method, make sure you compare both of them. So we have to check the number of parts, which one has more, and also which one has bigger size parts.